Hello and welcome to your Team Brick. Today's video will hopefully be the final part of my uh, Mon Base uh, adventures. And I'll hopefully be able to finally move on and finally use other launch vehicles because, yes, today we're sending the crew and some uh, vehicles to the lunar surface base I established as far as, as part of my Ursa program. More about it can be found in previous videos as well can, as well as as well as information, excuse me, on the rocket on screen, the Ursa Major, with its uh, core and solid rocket boosters, it's a rip-off SLS effectively, and yeah, no, I'm not going into much detail about it because I've talked about it before. Yeah, what I will talk about is the vehicles we're sending to a base, a rover and a hopper. Rover, standard mark to uh, rover, uh, this rover core. Not much to talk about it for most science experiments, solar panels, batteries, light, all, this, all the good stuff. The hopper is um, a mess of uh, structural pieces with uh, four uh, mod propellant tanks and RCS thrusters attached with a lawn chair strapped to the top of it as well as some solar panels and batteries. Super primitive, by design, and it actually is a pretty fun vehicle to fly around, which um, you will uh, see it in action later on in the video. We've already made it to orbit, and are now performing our transmitter projection. You can see below the two vehicles is a small landing stage with solar panels, which um, I greatly overbuilt this rocket because I was worried about running out of time. So we have far too much to out of here. So we head out towards the Mon. And I believe we're gonna do a course correction at some point, or maybe this was the one mission that didn't do course correction. I guess we're not doing a course correction. As we approach the Mon, and I realize I had set my uh, thrust limiter way too low, but eventually that sorted out, and now we're at the Mon and start burning. Again, aiming for a 15 uh, kilometer circular orbit. It goes as planned. And so now we need to land near the surface base. And you can see my orbit burn there. And, okay, for precise landing, what I did was I made a quick save. And I then did various different approach attempts. And just saw what worked, saw what didn't work. And try and get as close as possible. I do not have any strategy other than try to keep your ascending node or descending node directly above the uh, target because that seemed to work for me. Yeah, if you're trying to do this yourself, I wish you luck. There's definitely a better tutorial out there. But uh, yeah, I didn't really have the time for a tutorial, which may have been a bad decision. But anyways, enough ra enough uh, yapping on about that. We land at the base, use the solar panels as legs, attach the hopper and the rover, and uh, both vehicles have our probe cores on them. And uh, got to, got to uh, turn on, turn off the reaction wheels on the rover, but that's been resolved. And we can also deploy its systems. And we can already start transmitting some data. Now, again, for the uh, base uh, that we arrived at, uh, see my uh, previous video for uh, more about it and uh, for its construction. Yeah, so far it has seen zero crew, and uh, the main purpose of this video was to crew it. I just felt that uh, I needed some extra content. So, yeah, I sent these two vehicles. But now that they've arrived, I believe it's time for us to send the crew. This will be in two launches. First one, you can see on screen here. I'll cut through most of it. Because it's standard Ursa Major with crew capsule, also called Ursa. And here for Link with the Artemis program, which this is heavily inspired off of. And you and sure there aren't multiple vehicles sharing the same name. But there's uh, multiple vehicles from different time periods sharing the same name as the entire uh, SLS and Artemis uh, capsule uh, stack is a STS. 
Which, yeah, I sure the name with the space shuttle. Which, uh, I'm sure would never cause anybody any confusion at any point. Anyways, yeah, you can see the spacecraft has deployed systems nominally. We can do our transient injection. And followed by a quick, just a quick uh, course correction. As we first near rendezvous with our um, near space station. And then another orbital insertion burn. This is a pretty long burn. After some uninteresting maneuvers, the, the spacecraft separates from the upper stage. And we can use the RCS to fine tune the encounter, which was done pretty easily with our dual orbit burn. As their periapsis match the uh, target's aquapsis. And so, after some more uninteresting maneuvers, we can dock, and once we're on the uh, daylight side, we can have the uh, Kerbal Zip UVA transfer over into a space station. And some nice free IVA footage there. And now we need to send up the lander. Again, on a separate launch, mimicking, as, well, mimicking Artemis. And I'll cut through this uh, launch even more because you've already seen it twice in the video. And so, skipping ahead to already pulling the fairing, the lander is a heavily modified version of the Ursa spacecraft seen earlier, with uh, substantially more fuel and uh, significantly more powerful engines, fit for landing on the Mun. Otherwise, it uses the same solar panel, same surface bay. It actually shares a lot, in can a lot in common. Excuse me, I can't speak, apparently. Now, transmitter injection. And soon enough... Yeah, there we go. Orbital insertion around the Mun. We did not need a course correction. And you can see I actually haven't gone into a quite circular orbit to uh, get uh, a intersection with the target. However, I'll have to do some uh, extra adjustments to actually get that intersect. Which, after those maneuvers, we're able to dock. And from there, the yeah, Kerbos can EVA transfer over into the lander. Not much is really going on, going on on screen, is it? And just EVA maneuver. Probably kind of mess up some of this footage, couldn't I? Now yeah, we're approaching the capsule now, and can board. Hopefully, there we go. And so now we can undock. And uh, using the station RCS to get some uh, separation. And so now, first, we do a uh, orbital inclination adjustment. And so, after many attempts and many uh, failed landings, I was able to uh, have uh, this attempt to work. We saw that uh, orbital adjustment. You can see I'm trying to keep the, uh, the uh, descending node directly above the target. That should keep our inclination in track. Also, for some reason, I cannot see the uh, target marker in the uh, flight view, which is kind of an issue. But I'm using the Kerbal Engineer Redux uh, rendezvous readouts. And you might be able to see it there. Yeah, we are directly above the base. And so we can uh, slowly descend towards it. And then awkwardly try to stand ourselves, almost tip over. And there we go, uh, just a few hundred meters away from the base. So now uh, the crew needs to needs to uh, walk over to it. And so the, I have my first Kerbal Gun EVA. Well, really, it's a quite long distance to walk. 
and just I really don't feel like uh, sitting here and uh, waiting to uh, get the crew over there. So, pretty soon after I get the second Kerbal on EVA. I'll uh, switch over to the rover, which still has a probe core on it, and drive it over. Except we don't have any uh, communication satellites in range. But now, we can uh, drive over towards the, uh, towards the uh, Kerbals. This was not what I intended to do, but uh, it seemed uh, too convenient and... Uh, just, uh, I decided to do it and... Uh, yeah, I completely ran out of things to say, uh, sorry about that. Now we can uh, drive over to Kerbals and have them board the rover. Now, first one here is gonna have some issues. I'm not sure how that happened. Eventually, yeah, boarding. And look around the interior, make sure everything's fine. And I think we're quickly gonna swap through some things there. But uh, we were able to board. And now we can uh, drive over to the base. Also, this uh, river does have some uh, repair kits on it, in case uh, we flip over and damage one of the solar panels, or in case we run into the base. So we can uh, get out on the EVA, and the flag, and uh, do uh, this normal uh, surface activities, and uh, test out this uh, hopper over here. Because yeah, I said it would be demonstrated, so we will demonstrate it. So, um, the Kerbal, you saw the Kerbal boarding there. And uh, RCS is actually enough to uh, get this small of a craft a pretty decent thrust weight ratio on the Mon. And so, we can uh, do some jutting around, uh, flying, just do some various uh, points around the base, as many as a test flight to see how it goes. Now, I do believe when fully fueled, uh, combined with the Kerbal EVA pack, this could actually uh, serve as a emergency uh, crew to orbit vehicle, however I would have to uh, leave behind uh, one of the uh, Kerbals at the base. And we've uh, drained a significant portion of the fuel from this short of a flight. We needed to park the ice up and close to where it was originally landed. Yeah, that was a pretty successful test flight, the university was, uh, was uh, checked. So, yeah, overall this has been pretty successful. I want to uh, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and goodbye!